Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make a hot fermented sauce. For this we need a nice sterilised jar, some water, pre preferably not chlorinated water, so that's spring water out of a bottle, a bit of sea salt, now we're going to mix that up at 3% so we've measured the water that almost fills the jar, obviously you've got to take into account the stuff you're going to put in it. We, I measured out 600ml and that comes out at 18 grams of salt. It's just you do 3% and it turns out that a milliliter of water weighs about a gram so you can work it out. We've got some Tabascos here, a nice big pile of Tabascos. I've got three red onions which I'm going to chop up and put in there. I've done this before where I've put in whole garlics but today we're cheating we're going to use garlic granules which is just dried garlic and some black peppercorns. That is pretty much all you're going to need. Some people put the chilies in whole. I'm just going to cut through them just so that the brine can sort of soak into the actual chili and it's uh, you get all the flavour and uh, lovely jubbly. So we crack on. First job is I'm going to chop the chilies, cut up the onions, and then we'll get it all put in the jar and we'll take it from there. So first things first, I'm just going to cut all these um, Tabascos in half and then I'm going to pop them straight into the jar. I'm just going to do it rough. Now the reason I've chopped them up is just so that when the brine is in the um, in the jar, it gets into the chilies and it sort of the flavours can all infuse. So what we're going to do now is pop that to one side, chop these onions up roughly, that's just three small red onions, that's just going to add to the flavour when it's when it's blended up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop those into the jar. Put that to one side. Now as I said previously, we're using dried garlic granules. I'm going to put a dessert spoon of chilli granules into the jar, a little bit more just for luck. <clears throat> then some black peppercorns, now these are quite strong, I'm going to put a dessert spoonful of those in there. As I said, we did measure out the water. I've probably got a little bit too much. But what we're going to do is take the water, 3% salt, which is uh, 18 grams, 600 millilitres of water, 18 grams of sea salt. That's going in there. I'm just going to stir that up so that the salt dissolves. Mm. 
Right, that's pretty much that. So what I'm going to do now is take the jar and add the brine into the jar and we need to cover everything that's in there. So let's pour this in here. Right, that's covering that. All I'm going to do is try and just give this a bit of a stir up. Let all the flavours get all through. stir up in there. <coughs> so now you can see that the garlic granules, the peppercorns, the onion and the chilli are all mixed together. I'm going to put a drop more brine in that. Make sure that everything's underneath the surface of the water. Right, because I don't have a an airlock lid, we're going to put the lid on, and then we're going to use like the burping method. So every couple of days, we're going to release the lid, and that will release the gas. Put the lid back on. We're going to just check in the top. In the, we'll check in the top of the the jar. Make sure there's nothing growing in the top. If, if you do get anything sort of white growing in there, that's not too bad. But anything else, you can just scoop that out. Um, so that is pretty much it. I'll just give it a bit of a. Make sure it's all nicely mixed up because it looks like the garlic was all settling on the bottom. So there you go. So that is as basic as it can get. It's all in the jar. I'm now going to put the jar in the pantry and check it every couple of days. Release the lid. That lets the gas out. Put the lid back on. Pop it back in the pantry. It wants to be out of the light because the light can affect the quality of the uh, the sauce and that. Um, we're going to leave it for two, three weeks. You'll see little bubbles coming up in the jar. When those bubbles have stopped coming up, that's pretty much when the fermentation has stopped. Uh, as I said, I haven't got the airlock. We'll probably get onto that next year if we're going to get into fermented sauces a bit more. And um, so we'll check back in a couple of days and see how much pressure we've got in it. <laughs>